Hey folks, hi, good evening. Uh, sorry for the slight delay for those who may have joined and may have left already. Uh, I was a little stuck in another you know, engagement, but now that you're here, let's get started. Firstly, thank you for everybody who's registered for the event. A fabulous response so far. We want more people to submit, but yeah, 200, 250 odd registrations with some people also participating in these things. So great to see that. Firstly, thank you. This session is a Q&A, so to speak, uh, so that not just a Q&A, but also a walkthrough so that in case there are any doubts, common doubts that do come through that other people have also asked in the forum and dropped us mails. Those I'll try to address here. Also do a quick walkthrough of the problem statements also. In case people have just started submitting, we generally see people uh, working on the weekend. So we thought this is the right time to do it. So let's get into it, right? So the, the challenge as such, so first, in fact, this morning I was doing a Q&A with the creators of product folks and good question that came through was why are we doing this uh, challenge of this event. Uh, the reason being, and for those who don't know UX Act, we are a platform that does UX hackathons, product hackathons, design hackathons, and that is what our day-to-day -day job is. That is what our platform is built for. But we also help to improve products for companies, right? Corporates, organizations, uh, and this kind of doesn't fall into that. But we have an initiative which we started. That was actually our first hackathon in 2018, which is Hack for Change. This falls into that bucket. And so there was a tweet by Mr. Malpani, uh, who's a Dr. Malpani, who's an angel investor, that why are government properties this way? Why can they be a design competition which improves UI UX of these properties, of these government properties? Uh, and my co-founder kind of reached out to him, and this is where we are. He gave us a grant of one lakh, which we are distributing as prize money, and we thought there'll be four good products that we could work on and get people to think and come up with nice ideas. Now, obviously, our intent here is to just get the mind thinking, creative thoughts going. Here, the intent is not that the government properties will improve because of this hackathon, may or may not, that's not the point. But what we are trying to do is try to create a voice uh, for the designers as well as, you know, for all those people who are not able to express themselves. Everybody has these frustrations on common properties, not that all are bad, but some of them have some issues which, you know, if they were better, things would be so much better for everybody. Right. As Indian citizens, obviously, we would love to have great, uh, you know, digital properties to use. Coven is a good example of it. Pretty decent data. So that's the intent here. Right. Uh, also, for young designers who are just getting into this field or who've gone through cohorts or who are doing, you know, kind of looking for internships, looking for projects. This is a fabulous opportunity to really solve a real, real world problem and get appreciation and feedback and inputs around that. You also get to see not just as winners. So don't, don't just think that, you know, this is for, will I win this challenge or not? It's not about that. It's also about looking at how other participants come up with submissions. So once we have this demo day on the 27th, we'll also get to see what are the top quality ones that come through. So look at this event with that mindset, uh, and then it will be fun and fantastic for you as well. Uh, so let's get into the actual problem statements. We have four, and there are reasons why we've chosen each of them. Nishit has done a post on, I think, LinkedIn and Twitter. You can just follow him and check it out. Uh, but I'll give a quick brief on why we chose this. Beam, obviously, I mean, UPI is one of the hottest kind of digital payment space one can think of. In fact, it's been hot for a long time, but Beam has been one such product which has kind of cooled down, right? Uh, which is surprising. It is from not government, but yeah, government aided in PCI. And while I love Beam as my default uh, UPI app, I don't use Google Pay, Phone Pay, but I personally also feel that there could be visually, there could be some, so much more that the app could offer, especially the payment experience. That is the most important one. Uh, well, especially compared to somebody like a Google Pay, Phone Pay, Paytm. So if as a designer, you also feel the same, or if as a product person, you feel the same, this is a great challenge to attempt. Okay, one thing, uh, one question that came through is, do we have to attempt all four? No, obviously not. You can, so the prize money is distributed across all the four challenges, right? So you can attempt one, you can attempt two, you can attempt all four, that is your choice, right? But the prize money is for each of the problem statements. So that's how it's distributed. So you can pick and choose all, you can pick and choose one or do all of them. So Beam is that, that is the context of Beam. And with each problem statements, those who already registered may be aware, there is a deeper uh, detailing of the problem. We are also adding resources on our forum. I'll come to that later. But yeah, once you once if you like a problem statement such as this, go ahead, register, and then you'll see the submission part. I'll show that later. Then the IT returns portal for those who are salaried or even running a business and have hopefully filed your returns uh, this year. This year, we saw a new IT returns portal, right, from Infosys. 
lots of problems lots of issues but visually it was a pretty nicely done the uh, thing i think the revamp visually was good but from the perspective of reducing complexity i don't uh, especially if you are somebody who is now uh, i had a itr one i think and now if you go to uh, a lot of people have got dmat accounts and now have capital gains if you go through that that other form i think it's itr2 it is not pretty so uh, the process is what we are looking to improve it's not about visuals and we are looking at principles that aid our design thinking right the way we think about design is what we are going to challenge here the way maybe the folks at the it department have thought about this we have to challenge that so it's not an easy problem to solve this one but i'm sure if you if you put your mind and heart into it it will be a very very fulfilling exercise i'm really looking forward to what comes out of this uh, we've never done this kind of an exercise there where we are not asking it's like a thought process on what it should be like right uh, a small hint you can check out uh, what happens in other countries also uh, it's not too pretty there also but some companies have figured it out i was speaking in the creators of product q and a and intuit has done a pretty good job there a billion billion multi billion dollar company just around improving tax filing clear tax is a great example but yeah some examples are there in the market you could check those out in fact i think even sensible has a pretty nice uh, tie up with zero the and across all the other uh, you know providers brokers you can check these out but those are just visual parts right you got to think about the process of it returns for people who actually file those returns how could that be made easier that is the intent of this problem statement then this gst my uh, footing in this is a bit weak i don't do it for our company anishya then does it with the ca etc so but yeah this also is a very very important property especially for businesses one look at the website i did have one brief glance and you know that it needs a little bit of a refresh 2017 was when it was launched so obviously it's due so what would that refresh look like? and this is i think this is a very simple problem in fact if you're a young designer this is a great problem statement to try it's just about home page and how do you improve that home page uh, uh and I, i i don't think this is too complicated but at the at the same time you need to you need to be aware of what matters to people who file their gst returns right what is the important information to be shown others many a times government properties what happens is uh, a lot of heads get in and the actual end user is not thought about the management is thought about and that is what is shown apologies if there's a background uh, noise can't help that right and then the lic one obviously india's biggest ipo coming very very soon everybody's talking about it so obviously it deserves its own space uh government is the biggest shareholder in it so obviously it has a big say in what it looks like but this is a very very interesting problem statement if you look at it the the actual problem that has to be solved is pretty straightforward which is a ux audit exercise uh a hint on this we've done several ux audit exercises so this is probably the easiest of them to solve for right probably the easiest problem to solve for uh, uh and also a good place to apply thinking on ux audits how they are done lots of resources around this we've shared already shared some so we'll be seeing the, those as well but yeah uh, how should that lic website look like and not from the perspective we clearly mentioned not from the perspective of buying a policy this is more from the account management perspective right uh, lots of the lots of the new creations happen around okay how do i get more people to buy my policy how do i get more people to do this it's not about that it's about if you are an existing policy holders uh, how should their experience be this should be a great audit exercise and obviously you got to suggest so if you say that this x is a problem you got to say that this y would solve that problem uh, with some justification so these are the problem statements hopefully they are easily understood we've tried to keep them as simple as possible not make them complicated uh, and the way we go about is once you submit that's the 21st 21st is the deadline to submit uh, as far as i know there is going to be no extension so if you not yet started please do get started if you are somewhere uh looking for motivation this is the time to get into it it's 21st midnight that's uh 21st 10 pm sorry not midnight uh that's monday that is the deadline once you submit we'll go through all the submissions and across that's what we've thought across each we'll select three which are the three winners uh but not the actual winner so we'll select the top three so to speak in random order and then those three in each problem statement will present to the jury uh on the 27th that is the demo day that is next weekend and they will then decide who's the top 3 in each of them uh prize money as we've already mentioned is 20000 per problem statement so for the winner then 5000 for the runner up obviously certificates and honorable mentions uh for everybody who who is in the top top ones and also elder order subscription for the second runner 
Uh, we also have another jury member, Ankita, who's just uh, said yes to it. So we'll have her as well. She's from Google. So she should be able to provide the design side. The panel is as such because they themselves represent a particular, we'll, come, we'll talk about the panel on the 27th. That will be a good time to talk about it. Now coming to the common questions that are asked, that people have already asked some of them and some that previous hackathons also people keep asking. So one is the submission format. First of all, don't worry about it. We are pretty lenient on the formats as such. But with each problem, there are certain things that we've already mentioned, right? So for example, Beam is a redesign kind of exercise, right? So obvious expectation, if you're a designer, is that the output is a design file, right? The, the document, the PDF is a supporting document that we expect coming with that we, uh, design file, right? Uh, one important point, and we mentioned in the terms and conditions also again, is that when you submit any editable files, because you know Figma files, once you submit, you could edit it later, make sure you don't make any edits to that file afterwards, right? Because if you find changes in that from the submission, uh, you will be disqualified straight away. So don't make any changes once you submit after the deadline. Uh, make sure that is the file. If, if you want, in fact, for Notion, if you're using a Notion uh, file, send the PDF itself, right? Export it as a PDF and then attach it. Uh, and coming to the actual submission, so I'll just show you how that works in case some, some people had a doubt, how do I submit? So once, you, once you're registered you, for each problem statement, you can go in, view the details and start submission. And in there on that, for each problem statement, you'll see such a, such a place whereby you can go ahead and submit your solution. There's a space to type out your solution in case you just want to type and there's no attachment. Or you can type out, add links, do whatever X, Y, Z, you want, and then you attach a file, right? So as such, there is a 20 MB file limit. So keep to that. We don't have a page limit as such, but we prefer solutions that are short and speed, stick to the point and don't go wavering around and about. Uh, we, we prefer succinct one. In case you have a doubt on what kind of things we uh, are considered submissions and what kind of formats are followed, as I said, we are not too we are not too uh, stuck up on the submission format. We want the idea to come out. But if you want, if you still want, what you can do is go and check out some of the problems we've asked other people to solve previously, right? So you've got a lot of problem statements from earlier. There's one on Figma, Cred, Netflix, name the large product you think of and it's pretty much there. And then you can go, mine, mine is expired, obviously this is an expired account, but you can go and view the trial. In a trial, you can see uh, 50, I think around 50 free solutions. So you'll get a sense of, you know, how people generally submit to our challenges. The, again, that said, I mean, you know, it's a free white canvas. So go ahead and do as you find deem fit. Your idea should come out. That's what we believe in. So that is on the submission format, not to stuck up on that. Uh, the deadline again. So people ask that, can I, can I submit by this? What I would suggest is uh, since 21st is deadline, we don't know how many will submit on that day itself at the end. Don't wait for the deadline to start your submission. You can go ahead as, as was shown here, right? You can go ahead and start submitting right now itself. Put your submission in, put a draft in, and then keep editing it so that later on there's no last minute rush. You at least have your submission in, right? Uh, then what is the process after that? I've already mentioned it, but I'll, I'll tell you again. So we go through each submission. Then we come up with a shortlist. We'll announce it here on this page, on the forum, as well as to the people who are shortlisted and in general. And those people then get to present. We'll come to those details for the people who are going to present, how that happens, what is the format for that, and if there is anything specific to that. Apart from that, there is a FAQ at the bottom of this. In case you missed it, please do go ahead and read it. Plus, there are some resources with each problem statement, as I was mentioning, right? So for so there is a forum that we've created. It's at forum, in case you missed it, forum.uxact.co. And we are adding resources around design, around uh, UX audit. We, we keep adding it. Today also we'll add some more. So you can go and check these resources out as well, right? So we are added some for nice ones for UX audit. Nice one, one example of what design thinking is, uh, then a redesign, how it happens. So this is for the UK government that Nishit has put up. Plus there is, there are for this forum topic is completely for you, Hack for India. So in case you have something you want to ask, you want to, and we put some uh, pointers here as well, that will be helpful. Uh, you can go ahead and post here as well. You have access to this. But apart from that, any other question that had come through to people, yeah, it was about formats. It was about, uh, can I attach a file? Obviously, you can, as I showed, you can attach a file. Uh, the deadline is 21st. These are the general ones. Anything else, if you have a doubt from now to the submission date, please do, you know, drop us a line. Uh, on this forum, you can ask the question. People have already done that. Or you can drop a mail at contact at the rate or on socials. Socials takes a little bit more time, but this we, we keep checking this. Uh, you can also engage us on the creators of product community there if you have questions in case you're coming from there. 
but yeah that's pretty much it a recording of this i'm i'm recording this will go on to a youtube channel and we'll post it here as well but that's pretty much it i'm really looking forward to what comes through uh, especially especially for some of the problem statements that i completely relate with is the beam and uh, say the lic one and really looking forward to what people can come up with yeah one one small quick hack like in case you don't want to visit the site again and you don't have internet connectivity continuously you can download the problem statements and view it on your phone uh, at any point in time well that's it that's it uh, pretty much it for this walk through come q and a so to speak in case there are questions that did not get answered in this please drop them at contact at the ratuxact.co or on the forum as i showed it to you and we'll see you on the other side after the 21st uh, and more updates after that once we see the submissions that come through okay that's pretty much it good night uh, good evening and have a good weekend ahead i look forward to your submissions bye bye